All right, so in this problem, I have four to the power of x minus two to the power of x is equal to one. So to solve this, I'm gonna first go ahead and rewrite four to the power of x as two squared to the power of x, because four is two squared, minus two to the power of x is equal to one. Now, I can actually switch the places of these two exponents, so now I have two to the power of x to the power of two, minus two to the power of x is equal to one. Now, I'm gonna let y equal to two to the power of x. So now I have y squared minus y is equal to one. Now all I have to do is subtract one on both sides and I get y squared minus y minus one is equal to zero. So now I have a quadratic equation to solve. Now my quadratic formula is negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus four ac all over two a. So in this case, a is equal to one, b is equal to negative one and c is equal to negative one. So I have y equals negative negative one plus or minus the square root of negative one squared minus four times one times negative one all over two times one. That's the same thing as one plus or minus the square root of one plus four over two, which is equal to one plus or minus the square root of five over two. So now remember how we had we set y equal to the power of x. So if y equals one plus or minus the square root of five over two, and I have two to the power of x is equal to one plus or minus the square root of five over two. So my two equations are two to the power of x equals one plus the square root of five over two, and two to the power of x is equal to one minus the square root of five over two. So first off, two to the power of x equals one minus the square root of five over two, one minus the square root of five is gonna be a negative number. And two to the power of, two, a positive number to the power of an exponent can equal a negative number. So this is wrong. So all I'm left with is two to the power of x equals one plus square root of five over two. So to solve this, I'm gonna take the log on both sides. Now I can move x to the front, so now I have x times log two is equal to log one plus the square root of five over two. Now if I divide both sides by log two, I get x is equal to log one plus the square root of five over two, over log two. So this is my answer. All right, so in this problem, I have x to the power of x is equal to two to the power of 2048. So I wanna find the value of x here. So for my solution, First start with x to the power of x is equal to two to the power of 2048. Now, I'm actually going to rewrite 2048 here as two to the power of 11. So now I have x to the power of x is equal to two to the power of two to the power of 11. Now two to the power of 11, that's the same thing as two to the power of 10 times two to the power of one. And that's also the same thing as two to the power of two times two to the power of nine, which is the same thing as two to the power of two to the power of three times two to the power of eight. And now, well, two to the power of three, that's simply equal to eight. So now I have x to the power of x is equal to two to the power of eight times two to the power of eight. And now if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is simply equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So in this case, this can equal two to the power of eight to the power of two to the power of eight. Now if I have something in the form a to the power of a is equal to b to the power of b, then this means that a equals b. So in this case, x is equal to two to the power of eight. So this is my answer to this problem. All right, so in this problem, I have nine to the power of x plus 15 to the power of x is equal to 25 to the power of x. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna divide both sides by nine to the power of x. So now I have one plus 15 to the power of x over nine to the power of x is equal to 25 to the power of x over nine to the power of x.
Now it's the same thing as 1 plus 15 over 9 to the power of x is equal to 25 over 9 to the power of x. Now 15 over 9, that's going to be simplified to 5 over 3. And 25 over 9, we can rewrite 25 as 5 squared and three, 9 as 3 squared. So I have now I have 5 squared, 3 squared to the power of x. Now, I can write 5 squared over 3 squared as 5 over 3 to the power of 2 to the power of x. And I'm actually going to switch the places of these two. So this is going to be to the power of x to the power of 2. Now I'm going to let 5 over 3 equal to the variable, or sorry, I'm going to let 5 over 3 to the power of x equal to the variable y. So now I have 1 plus y is equal to y squared. Now I'm going to subtract y and 1 on both sides. So now I have y squared minus y minus 1 is equal to 0. Now I'm going to go ahead and factor this. So I'm going to use the quadratic formula, which is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So in this case, a is equal to 1, b is equal to negative 1, and c is equal to negative 1. So now I have y is equal to negative of negative 1 plus or minus the square root of negative 1 squared minus 4 times 1 times negative 1 all over 2 times 1. And now this simplifies to 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 plus 4 over 2, which is equal to 1 plus or minus the square root of 5 over 2. So now remember how we set 5 over 3 to the power of x equal to y. So if y equals this, then I have 5 over 3 to the power of x is equal to, let's first start with 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2. So to solve this, I'm going to go ahead and take the log on both sides. Now I can move this x1 to the front, so now I have x times log 5 over 3 is equal to log 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2. Now if I divide both sides by log 5 over 3, These two cancel out, and I'll be left with x is equal to log 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2 over log 5 over 3. Now, for 1 minus the square root of 5 over 2, I have 5 over 3 to the power of x is equal to 1 minus the square root of 5 over 2. Well, 1 minus the square root of 5, that's going to be a negative number. And you can't take the positive, you can't take the exponent of a, a positive number and make it a negative number. So this is wrong, and this is my only solution.